Salutations everyone, I'm Sir Simulot and I'm the one who has recorded this footage you guys are about to see. I want to thank Raptor for allowing me to record this for him and working with me on this project that I like to call the ground walkthroughs and updates. So thank you guys all so much and I hope you guys enjoy. That man is an absolute genius. Thanks again to Sir Simulot for providing today's footage of what's to come in the 1.1 update, including the Dragonfly Slayer, our first look at a Tier 4 weapon, a sword that will be absolutely powerful. Did you see the damage and such on that? Let's take a look at that sword again. Maximum damage, maximum stun, and about halfway on the speed. That is going to be an incredibly powerful weapon. It's, uh, as they say, too big to be called a sword, but it, it's a sword. It's the only weapon in the game that actually functions kind of like a sword. And look at that. Looks really cool. Now, completely unfinished, but will be coming soon to the game as well as a tier three weapon. Uh, which will require parts from the Mosquito. So Dragonfly Mosquito confirmed in the game. We've already seen the models of the Mosquito before and uh, seen it fly around and how it functions in combat and such. And the animations are quite cool on the sword as well as, as, well as the uh, blocking ability too. Now one thing you don't want to block yourself from doing is seeing more of this content. So if you're curious to see more of Grounded in the pending updates for the game, and if you're on the fence about buying it or not, this might convince you to possibly get this game or where to get items in the game if you haven't already purchased it yourself. So make sure you click or tap that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. So the difference between the Dragon's uh, Fly Slayer and also the Mosquito Needle, you can see there, a little less damage, a little bit less, uh, quite a lot less damage, a little bit less stun, but a lot more speed on that thing. And it also mimics the ability of the, um, of the Mosquito in order to uh, basically suck out the blood of the enemy, possibly ca causing bleeding damage, perhaps. Now, the models of these swords are not done, so they won't necessarily look exactly like that. Obviously, a mosquito uh, stinger is a little bit different than, for example, uh, what if the dragonfly will be made out of. So we'll probably see a difference in how they look. And these are just placeholders for now. But it is confirmed that they are coming to the game. And, of course, confirms the creatures and materials that will be used to build it. Firefly Lantern. Something that can actually be used to uh, create more light from the fireflies, which is nice. A lot easier to get than, uh, or rather, probably longer lasting. Uh, requires a uh, mosquito blood sack and also a bioluminescent scoop, which you'll have to get from the fireflies and the mosquitoes, respectively. So that'll be uh, interesting to actually be able to use that. And it actually functions right now like a, a torch. It looks like a torch, but uh, it probably could change its, uh, how it looks. Because right now it's just basically uh, sap that's on fire, just like the current torch. But it'll probably look a little different. I'd like to see different lanterns in this game and different uh, helmets and stuff that uh, will come along, of course. Right now, Sir Simulot, I believe, wearing a, um, I think that might be a, a gnat helmet or a, maybe a spider. Can't quite recall what that one might be. But pending stuff coming soon. Looking good. I'm excited. We have Diving Bell Spider previews coming up very soon. I'm going to get that ASAP. We have a diving knife now to use against those spiders. we got Diving Bell Spiders. We've got leeches. You may have seen that in our previous update about the underwater base. If you've not seen that, make sure you do. You are missing out otherwise. There's so much information coming out about this. And it's, just, it's like breaking news. I, I couldn't be more excited for this game, which I'm already, by default, excited about. All right, let's do some swimming here. And let's go see what we can find uh, down at the depths here. So this diving might, uh, knife might be used to gather uh, what is known as the, uh, I believe it's the eel grass. So this grass might be new here, and we'll be able to use that to craft some of the things that we've seen in the game before and uh, might be able to make more items, especially for underwater. So it seems like all the items found in the water or around the water are uh, good for fighting in the water. So it's kind of like a mini biome that's much more dangerous, kind of more like an end game world within this world, um, higher level enemies and whatnot. For example, we have a trident here that we can get. Uh, there's the tactical harpoon gun as well, and that can be crafted. We've seen a little bit of that before. We have the harpoon gun and the tactical harpoon gun. There is a difference between these two just slightly. One that uh, has a bio, uh, bioluminescence goop attachment that can basically fire like a flare. And, of course, different types of uh, harpoons that can be made, too. Uh, just like with the arrows. Except, they are very specific to the harpoon. They have to be made for the harpoon. And the bone trident. This is extremely powerful underwater. Excels in underwater combat. So we have ourselves damage, stun, and speed very high on that thing. So good for taking on, uh, well, it's probably made from the koi, hence the bone. That's really the only thing in the pond that will have bone. So if you happen to kill a koi, which, by the way, are getting bigger, there's so much news. I got This news is basically pending breaking news. Breaking news! There's breaking news! Man, there's so much to show in this game. Uh, there's the bone trident there. 
And there's how you craft it and whatnot. And uh, there it is right there in his hand. And uh, it looks like it's made out of bones from the fish. And of course, it also looks like it might just be made out of... Uh, even though the materials might be different, it looks like it just takes like a, maybe a, a sprig or something like that to make. Very simple, very powerful, and very necessary to take on, uh, for example, the diving bell spiders, which will be the most dangerous thing after the next update since Koi won't be coming in. So there might be a way to find the trident. They might put it somewhere, or they might uh, change the crafting recipe. Anything's possible, but of course with it having bone at the end, it's real recipe supposed to be that. There you go, sprig, bone, and woven fiber. So there you go. All right, let's see what else might be in the coming 1.1 update. You can see all the different items here. Pause at any time. We have flippers now that will allow you to uh, swim faster underwater and require a water boatman fin, which is, of course, the beetle that we saw in our previous episode. Lily pad wax, strider legs, and also uh, eel grass, which, of course, we uh, had stabbed at earlier. So now the flippers will give you a little bit more of a bonus. A rebreather that will require the uh, sprig, plant fiber, and lily pad wax. And it looked like that was supposed to be used with cattail, but again, the recipe might change based on uh, the version. It could always be changed, of course. And the koi scale helmet, which is going to be the most important thing. It's maintaining basically an air bubble underneath the uh, koi skin, which allows you to uh, dive quite effectively. The veteran diver bonus is what you'll get for having a full set of armor with that. So the flippers, uh, the, the koi scale and possibly the strider skates, which will allow you to more than likely go across the surface of the water, uh, though it might not be in this update, so we'll have to see. So this game is jam-packed with items, way more than I ever thought would come to it, and it's so cool that you'll be able to run across the water and even plant these too, these little heads on a stick. The question here is, if you put these down, will these possibly make ants think twice about coming this way? It does say in the description, if you read the ant head totem, display a warning. To hostile ants. Is it decorative? Does it actually do something? It, uh, if it's under the uh, uh, the decorative section, maybe it doesn't do anything, but perhaps it could be put under defense, or maybe it will work as defense, and it'll give a warning to ants to stay away, and it could be uh, nice to stop them from bothering you all the time. So these are a placeable item that you can put down with the, uh, obviously, a, a little stick or sprig and, and an ant head, and I would say you probably want to keep your ant heads for making armor, but uh, it is something pretty cool that you can put on display and really seem like a barbarian. If you build a treehouse and put a bunch of those underneath your uh, house, that'll tell the ants to keep away. Here is a firefly that we need to uh, destroy or eliminate or kill in order to get that uh, bio new luminescence goop that we'll be able to use in some of those torches and also a few other building uh, recipes too. That'll be coming soon. And it looks like it doesn't really have any sort of animation at the moment. He's relatively chill, not really doing anything. Not really uh, programmed, I think, but you can see what he'll look like. And uh, really, to me, he just really looks harmless. It's like a miniature, uh, kind of feels like a miniature uh, beetle of some sort. But, uh, yeah, for the, for the most part, he's just kind of sitting there. Looks kind of like a mosquito at the head. And I wonder if they'll be able to fly in this game. Obviously, they do have wings. But we'll see if they actually have their fly ability and what it'll be like to take them on. They're quite large, and it would be awesome to have a mount. One's in the comment section if you would love to have a mount. Give me a number one down there if that's the number one prop priority for you is to actually have a creature that you can walk around on and, uh, or, well, travel around on if you had some sort of a saddle. They gotta add that to the game. It'd be so cool to fly around with a firefly. You'd be able to light things up at nighttime, have a, a mount that could walk but also uh, fly. Pretty cool. And, of course, uh, let's see what else is being added here. Uh, more resources. We've seen these before, lab chairs and things. And these are all the things that will be appealing or appearing in the game, and some of these are appealing. Like, for example, that aphid honeydew, which heals you and increases uh, food and water uh, levels. Also a grinder here. Oh, grinds up certain types of items into juice. Insects really hate the noise it makes when it's running. Oh, well, that's something that could possibly uh, be attracted to you. You're probably going to find this in the base, because this is not made out of natural materials. So it'll be found in a lab or a base somewhere, more than likely. There are so many hints. Every time we put up a, question, uh, a video on this game, the questions are raised. What will be coming next? And there's more questions and answers every time. A sticky bomb that you can make now. Uh, that's going to be a beautiful nightmare for the wolf spiders. Usually they're a nightmare themselves. But what happens when we craft that and throw it at a spider? 
you can basically uh, throw it and forget it. Forget about the bows. Once you start getting ant eggs, that's going to be awesome. You're definitely going to want to be harvesting ant eggs every day in order to uh, basically make bombs that can be thrown at the enemy. Kind of like uh, throwing sticky bombs at the tiger tank and saving Private Ryan. You know what I'm talking about. Wow. Well, that's how big the ant heads are in comparison to a dummy. There's a lot to look forward to in this update then. And these should be some of the things we get to play with. But, of course, this all depends on what the developers have. And that's all I have for you for today. So a big shout-out to Sir Simulot for his continued hard work. I'm going to continue to uh, get videos from him as he has access to all the dev stuff. And it's great to be working together with him on such cool projects. So if you guys haven't already, make sure you click or tap that subscribe button. Turn on the notification bell. And there's a little cute screenshot of what's coming for Fireflies and for more in this game. I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy, and we'll see you soon. Bye.